All right, guys, what's up? Random comic here. Look at this little dirty spot right here. I just want to show you that really quick. Show that off. That's a dirty spot to use off rip. Usually get one or two guys just like that. It's really easy spot to use. Use it every time you start on Nuketown on this side. It's a really dirty spot. People don't expect it. They got to have a really, really good shot to be able to get you. A uh, little tip right there. So I thought I <laughs> started the game off for you guys. But let's talk about some uh, Modern Warfare 3 and some Battlefield 3 since E3 has launched a whole bunch of cool gameplay whole bunch of cool trailers from these guys I just want to talk about it so giddy about it um not really gonna I this point on my channel I've never talked about Call of Duty Elite because I have absolutely no problem with Call of Duty Elite um they haven't even announced a premium service and people are going nuts they're gonna charge for it let me just break it down for this really quick so far they've said um Battlefield 3 the guy that came out for Battlefield 3 at E3 kind of said something kind of snarky about you know taking taking a jab at Call of Duty he's like yeah we have s stat tracking and heat maps and all this stuff absolutely 100 percent free everybody started clapping and the misinterpretation of Call of Duty Elite is that it's charging you for that Call of Duty Elite does not charge for their stat tracking heat tracking or social networking so completely free premium service so far only thing announced has been if you buy Call of Duty Elite you will get all the games add-ons free so all the DLC will be free to you so that's cool that's the only premium service they've announced so far there's nothing else yet confirmed and uh, I'm gonna get Call of Duty Elite if it's a <laughs> it's a good price if they if I'm expecting them to release three map packs I expect you know each one to be fifteen dollars and in total that'll be forty five dollars so if Call of Duty Elite for the whole year subscription is $45, I'll pay for it because I'm going to probably pay just that much for the map packs. No problem with that. The one thing I have problem with is that people have always stat hoard. Call of Duty is a stat hoard game. It's a KD game. People worry about their KD more than anything. I would love to just take KD straight out of the game. It would improve gameplay. It would improve movement a lot more. But I don't see that ever happening. People, you know, you can't take out campers because that's how they get kills people that camp are bad at the game they have to get kills that way um you know you're not going to stop people from playing the way how they're going to get kills and you know having call of duty elite having every single precise kd weapon stat you have a kd of you know 500 with this gun 200 with that gun ridiculous amount of stats i, w I w this is the only stat i would like to know kd on every map which would be very interesting I would like to know my KD on Nuketown, I would like to like know my KD on Firing Range, it would be very interesting to see which maps I'm best on, so I can know, don't vote that map, I suck at that map, so uh, that's pretty much my whole uh, shindig on shindig, who the hell says shindig nowadays, that's my whole you know thing talking about Call of Duty Elite, let's talk about Modern Warfare 3 really quick, so the only thing that I know that is 100% truly confirmed about Modern Warfare 3 is that MP5 is back. You can tell by the video and the campaign demo that there's a few guns that are back. They actually have the same exact icon from Modern Warfare 2 and COD 4. You can see G18s are back, Glocks are back, uh, A12 is back, looking different though, visually different. MP5 is back, AK74U is back, A4 is back, uh, M4 is back, what the hell am I saying? AK47 is back, uh, P90. I'm trying to think if I missed anything. Um, P90. This got Spaz is back. Okay, I think that's all there is. And the only other gun that's new was the XM25, the uh, Camper Buster Airburst Launcher, which I would love to see differently in the multiplayer because I know everything is different. Single player is always different than multiplayer. I just want to see how that thing is going to work out in the multiplayer because that thing could become. I feel that at the beginning of the game, if that thing is powerful, then um, it's going to be very overpowered. As long as they only, you know, break down the amount of ammo supply to zero, uh, two, and then uh, it should be zero, right? <laughs> two, have the ammo down to two, and don't have it resupplied by scavenger. And here's one thing I would like to see Modern Warfare 3 do: take out dual mag. I love dual mag. Don't get me wrong, but having dual mag totally defeats the purpose. Of having scavenger and scavenger is a very very important perk in order to have more ammo 
and you're just negating that purpose by putting an attachment that's the same thing. Also, on that note, move your perk hardened FMJ back to um, being an attachment. I would love to see that. Having a full metal jacket, you know? And, I mean, this, is whole, this whole thing is funny because I remember, I heard Robert Bowling, he did a, um, you know, live demo at the Machinima booth at E3, and he made a few bold statements about saying that they want to go back to the original COD 4. They think that COD 4 is perfect, which is funny because he always says COD 4 is all about gun on gun. It's all about gun on gun action. In my opinion, these days, COD 4 is about Martyrdome, it's about Last Stand, it's about Frag Times 3, it's about Noob Tubes, it's about Danger Close. All these things that I do not like about that game, and he acts like it's perfectly balanced. There's so much shit wrong with COD 4. Great game? Totally not perfect at all. <laughs> it's funny how he's he's making it seem like that gun, that game's all about gun on gun. It's not. It's, it's still, you know... Everybody's bread and butter because it's the first Call of Duty, but it's definitely not close to balance. So they're going back to COD 4 days of being, uh, you know, that they're looking back at that type of gameplay, which I, I love. To, I would love to see that gun on gun gameplay, but not that perk setup. Um, talking about the perks, I'm kind of scared about Modern Warfare 3 because there's some good stuff. Like Robert Bowling has boldly said at that same live demo he did that there is going to be no one man army and there's going to be no commando in our game and if he can make a bold enough statement of that why not you know go right out and say that there's gonna be no last stand I'd be 100 percent way more happier going to bed with a smile on my face if he just confirmed there's no last stand because it's kinda weird that he can make a bold statement and be like yes one man army and you know commando are out of our game yes people cheering the all the bullshit perks are out of this game but he doesn't have enough you know balls yet to say that there's no last stand because I think that last stand is going to be back in uh, Modern Warfare 3 which is unfortunate but you do got to have those new perks I mean Call of Duty has always been about pick up and play pick up and play that's why Battlefield 3 will might struggle because it's still gonna have that learning curve which any game has a learning curve but Call of Duty probably has the smallest one of all because, um, you know, it's, it's really based on just staying alive and <laughs> Battlefield 3 is more about taking objectives, having to die more than often than you wouldn't like. And, um, uh, I'll talk about Battlefield 3 in a minute, but, uh, Modern Warfare 3, that's the one thing, you know, talking about the perks, I'd love to have him just straight straightforward, yes, there's gonna be no, you know, no danger close, no last stand, because if, if that little camper buster thing is gonna be... With Danger Close, day one I can tell that everybody's going to have that on their back and I'm really not looking forward to that, but what are you going to do? This is how they want to balance their game.